Hi, in this short video I'm going to demonstrate you how to detect gestures with a Raspberry Pi and a low cost sensor. This is APDS 9960 sensor and it's capable of detecting left, right, up, down, near and far gestures. I have designed a Raspberry Pi add-on board for connecting various sensors including APDS 9960. The board is designed with the free and open source software KiCad. This is a Raspberry Pi micro hat with an EEPROM and here is how it looks in KiCad. I exported Gerber and Drill files and provided them to the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com. They made a high quality prototype for me. If you also need a printed circuit board, visit PCBWay.com to learn more. PCBWay also offers additional services such as assembly, 3D printing, CNC and metal sheet fabrication. The prototype of my printed circuit board was very quickly manufactured and shipped via DHL. I received 5 pieces of my printed circuit board and some goodies from PCBWay. The package also included rulers made from printed circuit boards and transparent PCBWay logo. It's really cool. This add-on board for Raspberry Pi has a slot for mini OLED display, 3 I2C sensors and a carbon dioxide sensor which I'll probably review in another video. There is a 40 pin header to plug the board on top of a Raspberry Pi single board computer. APDS 9960 is a great little I2C sensor with multiple features. It's capable of measuring proximity, uh, measuring ambient light, detecting different RGB colors and most importantly for this demonstration APDS 9960 is capable of detecting gestures. This feature allows you to create touchless human machine interfaces and control peripherals of your computer or microcontroller using a gesture, for example to wave your hand. This is a breakout board with a built-in single 8-pin package for the APDS 9960 sensor. It communicates over the very popular I2C interface. The breakout board has 5 pins. One of the pins is for voltage in, this sensor operates at 3.3 volts and another pin is for ground. There are two pins for the I2C communication for data and for clock. I2C allows attaching multiple devices and each device has a unique address. The last pin is the interrupt, which we'll actually not use in this demonstration. APDS 9960 is a great value for money and actually the popular smartphone uh, released a few years ago, Samsung Galaxy S5, uses exactly the same sensor as far as I know. I have already created a simple Python 3 script to demonstrate gesture detection using APDS 9960 and to display the detected gesture on a mini OLED display. For this purpose, you have to enable I2C on your Linux distribution running on your Raspberry Pi single board computer. The demonstration has been tested on the Raspberry Pi OS and you can use Raspberry Pi config to enable I2C. You also need to install some popular Python uh, libraries that are used in my example. The exact steps how to do all this are available in the description of the video. Let's wire all this together. Here I have a Raspberry Pi 3, but any other model of the Raspberry Pi single board computer with 40 pin header will be compatible. I have prepared a micro SD card with the Raspberry Pi OS. I'm plugging in my add-on board on the Raspberry Pi. After that, I'm adding the breakout board for the sensor on top of my add-on board for the Raspberry Pi. And I'm also adding the mini OLED display. I'm plugging in an Ethernet cable to connect the Raspberry Pi to my local area network. 
As I mentioned, I'm using Raspberry Pi OS. No matter what kind of Linux distribution you're using on your Raspberry Pi, it is mandatory to enable the I2C interface. The easiest way to do it is through Raspi config. More details are available in the description of the video. This demonstration of APDS9960 sensor on a Raspberry Pi is based on a Python 3 script that I developed and uploaded to GitHub. The source code is entirely open source. The Python 3 script uses popular uh, libraries such as Luma and Pew for drawing on the mini OLED display, as well as uh, APDS9960 library for reading gestures from the sensor. I'm going to log in remotely to the Raspberry Pi and launch the Python script. It is time for demonstration of the gesture recognition on Raspberry Pi using APDS 9960. I'm moving my hand in different directions in front of the sensor. The sensor is detecting them and the Python script is uh, showing these gestures on the mini OLED display. The script is capable of detecting six different types of gestures, left, right, up, down, near, and far. If a gesture is detected, but it cannot be categorized with any of these six options, then on the screen we see none. Both the mini OLED display and the APDS9960 sensor are connected to the Raspberry Pi over I2C. However, these two peripheral devices have different I2C addresses. The Python Luma Core and OLED libraries, as well as PIL, are used to show an image and text on the mini OLED display. By the way, the type of this display is called SSD1306. There are a few important details regarding the APDS9960 sensor that are worth to be mentioned. The sensor is calibrated for about 10 cm detection distance. This means that the customer should not spend time calibrating the sensor, but when you are providing the gesture, your hand should be about 10 cm away from the sensor to make sure that it will recognize the gesture correctly. The gesture detection is possible because of four directional photodiodes that sense the reflected infrared energy, which is sourced by the integrated infrared LED inside the sensor. APDS9960 has been developed by Broadcom. This sensor has multiple different applications, most notably in smartphones to disable the touch screen when it is not used and to avoid accidentally pressing it. As you can see in the video, I'm using APDS9960 on a purple breakout board. However, there are numerous different breakout boards with this sensor on the market and some of them have different colors. Although the particular demonstration in this video focuses only on gesture recognition, APDS9960 is a very capable sensor with additional features, including ambient light and RGB color sensing, as well as proximity sensing. It is time to wrap up this video with conclusions. APDS9960 is a low-cost sensor that is connected over I2C and has multiple features. Most importantly, it's capable of detecting gestures. It is a great value for money. Yes, of course, you can get better results in terms of gesture detection with machine learning, artificial intelligence, and a high-end video camera attached to the Raspberry Pi. However, this alternative solution will be significantly more expensive. Therefore, I highly recommend you to give APDS9960 a try. The whole demonstration that you saw in the video is developed using a free and open source software. I have shared my Python 3 example in GitHub and the board that I have designed using KiCad to attach it to a Raspberry Pi is also open source hardware. By the way, you can do the same without 
an add-on board and you can directly connect the sensor to your Raspberry Pi. That's also an option. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.